Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and welcome to episode 54 of Ask Bosk's Bounty. This is of course the weekly series where you guys ask me questions in the comment section below and I do my very best to answer them each week for you. I'm really enjoying this series and I'm glad it's continuing. Before we do get into this week's questions, there are two or three things that I want to go through about the channel and some various other things that are happening in the community. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is I have been recently guest hosting on an awesome podcast called The Vintage Collection Podcast. It was put together by Victoria's Cantina. And if you want to check it out and you're into the vintage collection, you know, look it up on whatever podcast platform you use. I personally use the one on the iPhone, but it's also on Amazon and loads of others as well. But, you know, I recommend you check that out. I'm on there. She's got some other co-hosts as well each week and it's just a, it's just an awesome thing so make sure you check that out also as you may have seen on a video that i did a couple of days ago i was sent a press box by hasbro big mandalorian box and i did mention on that video that of course a lot of what was in that box i've already bought with my own money over the recent weeks and reviewed on my channel and I did say that I would be prepared to give a couple of those things away. And the first thing I want to give away is this Black Series Beskar Mandalorian. Awesome figure. I'm going to be giving that away in a couple of weeks when I hit 12,000 subscribers. So I'm over 11,500 now. So it should only be a couple of weeks. So be sure to look out for when I give this figure away. And there may be another one from that box that I give away in the near future as well. Another thing I wanted to mention was a shout out to Gary Moore, who has become my latest Patreon supporter. Thank you very much. It really does mean a lot to me and it's a great help. So thank you to Gary Moore and also thank you to all my current Patreon supporters as well. Another thing that's happened is that I did get back this clone trooper from grading. So this was given to me as part of a fan mail by the awesome Jeff from California. It's a really odd piece. It's an upside down clone trooper on that foil chase card. And uh, yeah, he, he gifted me this, which was awesome. And I thought, you know, I want to get it graded. And it came back with an 85, which is pretty awesome. So the card got 85, the bubble 90 and the figure 90 as well. So that's an 85. Really happy with that. That's actually the first thing that I've actually got graded myself so i'm going to be doing a whole video on grading i'm going to send a few off other things off to be graded i'm going to do a video about the whole process using ukg over here in the united kingdom and the final thing i wanted to mention before we got onto the questions is this awesome stand for a vintage speeder bike so i got this stand off a nice guy called alan summers on facebook and he has since created a facebook page called galactic displays I will link to them in the description below so you can check them out. He's going to be doing some custom stands for like the vintage snow speeder and things like that. But I really did like the way this one was designed. You can get it in a shorter one as well if you want it not so far, far off the ground. But it just rests very nicely on that little custom stand there as you can see. Just give you a bit of a closer up look of how he's done that. So it's a three piece thing. You've got the base, the bit that goes in and there's this little piece there. Uh, just so you can balance your vintage speeder bike very nicely on the stand. And because you do that, the legs come out and the little flaps at the back lift up, which looks awesome. So I'm really, really happy to have that. Um, they're not that too expensive, but go check him out on Galactic Displays. Oh, and one last thing. We do have some fan mail to open up later on in the video, so be sure to check that out. But we're going to get straight onto the questions now. So if you do happen to enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. It really helps the video and the channel. I thank you so much for doing that kind of thing for me. And let's get on to the first question. Michael Hodges says, Hi, Bosk. These videos make my Monday morning. Thank you, Michael. Questions for next week. What missing figure from your collection do you want the most? And when is that room tour collection video coming? So in answer to the second part of your question, I did a video yesterday, I believe, of my vehicle and play sets collection. All of those essentially cannot fit into my collection room. So I've done that separately. So the collection room tour will be coming soon because I want to sort of, you know, connect it to that video essentially. Um, you know, and obviously my collection room has got all my loose figures and all my carded figures on the wall and lots of vintage stuff and everything as well so um just just the big box stuff can't fit in this room but that video is coming very soon my friend don't you worry and in terms of a missing figure from my collection that i really want that would have to be the uh jar jar binks in carbonite uh, essentially you got it in that san diego comic con 
uh, Carbonite pack from 2012, I believe it was. And I was actually talking about it recently to my good friend Nick from Only One Kenobi channel. Um, he knows I'm sort of on the lookout for that. I know that he's got that one. But since getting that Canadian Yoda, you know, I want to sort of get the sort of grail items from the vintage collection. That's why this guy is here at the moment, just showing him off. That's obviously the standard Jar Jar Binks vintage collection. Um, but yeah, I do want the Jar Jar Binks in Carbonite block. That's something I'm that's something that's missing from my collection and I really want. Marco Martinez says, hello, Boss Bounty from the Bronx, New York, USA. My question is, do you think Hasbro will do Quill and Grief Cargo in the vintage collection? I know they are doing a retro collection of those figures, but would it not be appropriate to do them in the vintage line? Let us know what you think. I don't think you need to really worry about Grief Cargo too much. I'm pretty sure he has been rumored for next year. Think he might be in the same wave as Leia Bezbin, uh, The Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, and the Snaggletooth or Zutton or Zuton. That was recently announced on the Hasbro Pulse Fan First Friday. Quill, I don't think you need to worry about either. You know, he's a main character from season one. I don't think we need to worry. As you mentioned, he is in the retro collection. He's just been leaked uh, for the Black series. He'll probably be on Mando's Mondays tomorrow. He's coming to the vintage collection, 100%. There's no way we will not be getting a Quill figure. So don't you worry about that. Palpatine 1975 says, a question for next segment. Hasbro's managed to make six inch snow speeder and we see a resurgence of X-Wings on the Mandalorian series. Could we see that ship becoming a reality for the Black series or a HasLab project? It's about time for a new updated version. Mate, I, I don't think they'll be able to, I mean, I could be wrong, but I think they answered this on one of their sort of forums that they did at one one of the conventions i think if a re realistically if they were going to do an x-wing in the black series it would actually be four foot wide wingspan and that's for me is just that's just too big for a collection for anyone's collection room i just can't really see that sort of thing happening the snow speeder for me you know they did that one it's more of a flat vehicle it's not so wide it hasn't got the wingspan it's just much easier for them to do an x-wing i just think's out of the realm of possibility of course, we know they did that giant TIE fighter, but in all honesty, I don't think they'll be making that mistake again. It's, you know, you can still pick that up in various bargain shops. Gavin Smith, 97 says, hey boss, love the videos, keep up the good work. Thank you, Gavin. Question for next week, given Rogue One is five years old in 2021, do you think they will re-release the Rogue One figures in the Black Series with new face print tech like they did with Rebels? Would also give them an opportunity to release Bodhi to complete the crew. I think that's, a huge possibility and I think it's probably happening. I think Yak Face has rumoured it and I think Usual Mike covered it in his video as well that Yak Face had, 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 had you know, rumoured that. It's going to be the same as the Rebels ones. They'll do the face deco on the figures that they've already released and it's needed by the way because the uh, Bayes Malbus in the Black Series is, is a horrific head sculpt in my opinion <laughs> and they really need to sort that face out. But yeah, also in that rumour is Bodhi Rook and also, you know, That'll give them the opportunity to give us some of those characters that we don't have in the vintage collection as well, namely Bodhi. That would be awesome. All right, so we've got a similar question from Axel Anderson and Dash Curran, and I'm going to read out Axel's now. Question for next week, Bosk. I'm low-key debating selling my 6-inch Black Series figures and just going all in on the 3.75-inch vintage collection Star Wars figures. What are your thoughts? I've only just got into 3.75 Star Wars stuff a few months ago, been collecting Black Series for years, and haven't had a 3.75 inch Star Wars figure since I was a kid. But getting back into them just feels so right compared to the Black Series. Just want to know your opinion. And Dash Curran says, great video. Just wondering if you're still collecting all the new Black Series. I can't decide whether to keep collecting or to give up and focus mainly on the vintage collection and afford vehicles as well as the figures. So this is a big debate, isn't it? Obviously, six inch figures versus... 3.75 vintage collection versus black series and of course there's lots of different collectors out there i tend to obviously focus on the vintage collection but i do pick up some of the black series ones that i like especially as they've started out with these new boxes now this makes a huge difference for me but i think the best way of explaining it for me is you know if you're into showing off your figures loose out of the packaging with ships vehicles creatures dioramas you know the whole world building sort of thing then you really need to do 3.75 because as one of the previous questions about the x-wing you're never going to get the big vehicles in the black series for me the black series do two things they they present very well for inbox collectors of course the vintage collection does as well with the carded figures but you know the 
the black series figures highly detailed do look good in their boxes the other thing they do very well is they're very good to just display on a shelf <laughs> and i know that sounds really odd but if you're a loose collector of the black series you could probably have you know 30 40 figures looking pretty damn decent on a shelf the problem with it is, is that you're never going to complete the whole series from a certain part of star wars or a certain scene from star wars so for example the cantina you're never going to get all of the cantina aliens in the black series it's just not it's just not going to happen all the ones from the jabba's palace for that matter you know you might get a few here a few there but you will not get all of them the black series concentrates on the main characters and then a few little sub characters here and there whereas the vintage collection historically anyway has always delved right into the background characters so for example we're getting you know snaggletooth for example next year we have the power droid things like that you know you get all the clones so in a roundabout way it's it's basically you know these for me are really for display you you have these on display either in their boxes or just a few figures on the shelf and that's pretty much what they do 3.75 you can really get into your dioramas you know full-on cantinas and that kind of thing so it's difficult for me to say which one i would recommend you buy i think that's for you to decide i'm biased so i will always go with the vintage collection if they said to me you've got to pick one 100 percent it'll always be 3.75 inch vintage collection figures over the six inch figures but that's not to say that I don't like the Black Series. You know, some of them are some of them are very good. Darth Pepperoni, love that name as usual. Hey boss, question: If you could choose one vintage collection figure to be made from each movie, which ones would you pick? Thanks for all the great vids. Uh, okay, this is th this would take me ages to go through them all. So I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do the original trilogy. Okay, so from Star Wars: A New Hope, I would like them to make Hammerhead. On a vintage card empire strikes back the one i really wanted was a bespin escape layer which they're giving us next year so to pick another one probably lobot return of the jedi there is so many from return of the jedi it's very difficult to pick one but i'd probably go with the emperor there you go all right then so a little break from the video and we're going to open up this piece of fan mail i want to say thank you to frederick forber he reached out to me on instagram and offered to send me this sent it to my p.o box so thank you very much and I, th I think i know what this is but we're just gonna check it out now little box here look it's very small <laughs> this is a lot smaller than i thought it was going to be wow look at that awesome Right, so that's going to be hard for you to see on camera. But that is a tiny little bosque. And that is just... Look, his legs are articulated and everything. It, is that Micro Machines? I honestly don't know. what. Somebody in the comments can let me know what this line's from. Is that Micro Machines? I, I don't know if they were articulated, the Micro Machines, were they? But I, I certainly have never seen that before and I absolutely love it. I'm going to treasure that. That's going to go straight into my Bosk cabinet with all my other uh, Bosk focused collection. So thank you so much, Frederick. I really appreciate that, mate. That's awesome. Jackson Bymer says, question for next week. Do you think they'll make the retro collection figures packed with board games like the Hothloot, Grand Moff Tarkin and Remnant Stormtrooper separate releases? As always, love your videos and keep up the good work. Thank you, Jackson. In short answer, no, I don't think they will. They pack them in those for a reason um, to make you spend a bit more money. And also it gives them an avenue into another retail store. So, for example, in the UK, you can get those board games in a shop called Waterstones, which is a which is a bookshop, you know, so they're not just in your Forbidden Planets and places like that. These it gets the figures into other shops. Galactic Plastic says your videos are always a treat. Bosk, thank you, Galactic question for next week do you think we'll ever get repacks of the vehicles from the prequel era in the vintage collection e.g jedi starfighters droid clone tanks ships etc um, i think the only time we'll ever do that is if there's a reason for them to do it so for example if it's like some kind of anniversary of um, attack of the clones or whatever but saying that we got nothing for the phantom menace last year so you know i would love a turbo tank for example i would love the gunship to come out again it just depends what the demand is really and what else they've got to make at the time with the mandalorian so hot at the moment 
I don't think there's much space really for much else. Aidan Loftus says, what is a Black Series figure you think looks better in the Black Series than the Vintage Collection and a figure that's better in the Vintage Collection than the Black Series? That's a really good question. I like that one. Um, okay, so two figures which spring to mind straight away, which I think are better in the Black Series than they are in the Vintage Collection is the General Veers and the Grand Moff Tarkin. Those two in the Vintage Collection need a bit of an update in my opinion. And as for a figure that looks better in the Vintage Collection, the Black Series, I think there's quite a few if I'm honest. Admiral Akbar springs to mind. I much prefer the Vintage Collection Admiral Akbar than the six inch version. I think the Rogue One Stormtrooper looks better in the Vintage Collection than the one that's just come out in the Black Series. I think the one in the Black Series got a slightly undersized uh, helmet. And also the Mandalorian, the first Mandalorian that we got earlier on in the year, you know, in his battered armor before he upgrades to the Beskar. I personally think that's a much better figure in the Vintage Collection. Just proportion wise, I just think it looks better. GeForce Racing 20 says, with the rumor announcement of the Black Series releasing Aura Singh, Bo-Katan and Asar's Ventress, do you think we'll get these ladies in the Vintage Collection? We can only hope, I mean, we've already got Aura Singh, but Bo-Katan and Asar's Ventress in the Vintage Collection is something that I would definitely uh, would like and hopefully 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 we'll definitely get Bo-Katan with the spoiler alert she was in the in the Mandalorian so hopefully we'll get her. 1980s and Star Wars guy says do you think we'll get another Clone Wars 3 pack maybe a Siege of Mandalore or an Umbara arc one. I'll tell you what I think they might do and this is again a spoiler alert for the Mandalorian um, I think they might give us Bo-Katan and the the other two I think that would make an awesome three pack. I know that's not the Clone Wars, but it's connected to the Clone Wars, so I'm cheating a little bit. Sci-Fi says, hey mate, question. Watto, both 3.75 and six inch line. Let's get something new. Cheers, Tim. Sci-Fi mate, you are on the money with that one. I would absolutely love a Watto figure in the vintage collection. I think that's well overdue personally. And the Black Series for that matter. Yep, with you there, buddy. Arc 101 Bricks says, question for next week. Do you think Echo and Jesse will get individual releases next year? Yes, I do. I think Echo has already been rumored. We're definitely gonna be getting him and it'll be inevitable that we'll just end up getting Jesse as well. I hope so, because Jesse, in my opinion, is the best out of the three. Now we've got another similar question here from Starvel Boy and Rene Chiahuahua. And they're basically saying, question for next week, do you think they could make a 330 second clone trooper and a 501st clone trooper for the vintage collection? So we already have the 501st clone trooper. Now, in my opinion, this one needs redoing. I've never really liked this figure. It's a bit too skinny for my for me, really. He There's better clone molds out there, basically. And of course, the helmet, as we know, has always been oversized with the removable helmets. Now I've got um, fives here. So there's no reason why, obviously we don't need all the karma and all that for a standard clone, but I think the fact that they will probably give us a 330 second clone trooper, which is obviously the Ahsoka clone troopers with the orange uh, face paint on the helmet, the, the fact that they're gonna probably be giving us that one then opens up for them just to not use that helmet and just give us a standard 501st helmet and give us a new one of those, May, maybe with a Clone Wars logo or something like that. But there's many parts of this figure that you could use um, and it would be awesome. So I certainly hope so, guys. And we'll just have to wait and see. The Grey Jedi Unleashed says, great video, mate. Loving the videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Question, why do you think Hasbro never released a Commander Cody 3.75 inch figure in the Revenge of the Sith line? He seemed to be enough of an important character, especially when you put into consideration then we've got a lot of obscure characters in the Revenge of the Sith line. Would love to hear your take on this. I'm going to disappoint you, my friend. I really, I honestly, I do not know. I think the first one we got was in the Saga line, right? In the 2006, I think it was, completely bypassing the Revenge of the Sith line. I, I honestly don't know why they would have done that. You know, protecting maybe the, 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 the character itself before people have seen it in the film or something like that. Maybe, I just do not know. Maybe somebody in the comments below can let us know why we never got Cody in the Revenge of the Sith line. All right then guys, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for tuning in and thank you very much for watching right until the end if you've made it this far. Don't forget to drop a like down below on this video and also don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section below for next week's episode to keep this series going. As I mentioned before, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.